What is going on with Star Wars Outlaws from Ubisoft? This game looks absolutely atrocious, and the price tag on top of it is absolutely ridiculous. Let's take a look at this one. It's expensive and it's absolutely outlandish. Subscribe to the channel because this is something, this is what we've talked about for years now, how games, how video games have just become this way too expensive price point for what they're offering. And what they've done to the model to this game is also just absolutely horrific. Uh, $130 version of Star Wars Outlaws under fire as Ubisoft prices increase. This isn't an increase, this is highway robbery. $130, that would be American. I'm in Canada, so add on another 35%. So that makes this game, for the full version of the game, almost $200. That would be $130 plus $35 and then about $15 on top of that. No, not quite $15. About $10 on top of that. So about so $175 Canadian if my math off the top of my head is right. That's absolutely absurd. The, with the Battle Pass and a Season Pass confusion. Wait, they have a Battle Pass and a Season Pass? What, what, what is this game? What is this? This is absolutely ridiculous. Ubisoft revealed yesterday that Star Wars Outlaws will launch on PS5 for August 30th, 2024, but it got its potential community talking as much as eye-opening price as the Ultimate Edition, which they have here. Um, so Ultimate Edition, $130. The Standard Edition is $69.99. And then the Gold Edition is $109.99. Now, one of these comes, like, the Standard Edition and the, the Gold Edition alone, that's a huge jump. You go from $70 to $110, that's $40. And it's a day one DLC that comes with that with a season pass. That's absolutely absurdity. And then the Ultimate Edition, it's only $20 more. So, you know, double the almost double the price and you get everything and you get a digital art book you whoopee a digital art book that digital art book should be included with the files in the in the programming to begin with the fact that you have to pay extra for digital art for this game no what what is the point of this this is absolutely absurd to see the type of prices for this so what do you get for the cost of almost two full price ps5 games the base game is bundled with a season pass which has add two story focused expansions after launch two cosmetic packs for protagonist k her spaceship and other vehicles a digital art book and a chance to play the game three days early uh, from august 27 2024 with the base game at 70 dollars, the goal being 110 that means ubisoft reckons the early access and season pass are worth 40 dollars. those extra cosmetic packs and digital art book then add an extra 20 dollars to the overall price that's absolutely absurdity anyone that likes video games this is pricing point out i i'm not paying for this there is no way and no way would i ever want someone to throw this one at the channel not for these prices hogwarts legacy being at 70 dollars, i thought was well worth it uh in that sense but they didn't add dlcs they didn't do anything they gave a whole bunch of free stuff away just for twitch but this this they're making you spend the extra 40 dollars right out of the gate just to get two dlc stories right out of the gate so you can get all the content for extra cost that's absolutely absurdity and what what's worse is what they've done to the model of this game learning the law ubisoft transform a beautiful female model humbly gonzalez into literally a broom for star wars outlaw and she she's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and then they turn her into what looks like a melting michael jackson and he's melting because he's a wax figure. Uh, that, that, that's what it looks like to me. You go from that to a melting Michael Jackson. A melting Michael Jackson. This is absolutely disgusting what they've turned this model into. She's absolutely gorgeous. And it, they should have taken her straight across. But what they've turned her into? No. This is absolutely no. This is not what women look like. This is what 
I guess they used a model that only men could be in because she looks like she's half a man. Well, they've got the uh, the Star Wars trailer up for this. Let's take a quick look at this. I'm gonna mute it just so we don't get any copyright stuff going on here. Star Wars Outlaw is coming soon. Oh my God, it's launching August 30th now. The Scrounder, Kate Vess and her boy, BFF, BFF Nyx? Is Nyx this little, axolotl is the axolotl supposed to be the new bb8 is that what this is okay we got a droid we got some bat like creature uh face face legendary criminal organizations yeah you get the you get the scoundrels uh-huh okay Th this could get ugly oh yeah yeah this game is looking ugly that's the problem um han solo and oh my god absolutely no no like she looks she looks like she's a melting wax figure and you know what's worse they're probably going to cap this game at 30 frames per second honestly but seriously oh my god oh my god what is this game thing doesn't even belong in star wars it's an axolotl and that's her bff i don't know this looks absolutely atrocious they can't even get an axolotl right on the screen even though it kind of looks like one but it not really uh i guess they just took a couple things away from it to make it more of a star wars alien that's the bff of uh kate vess is this the hunger games now with the i don't even know what this game is anymore star star wars has become such a drag of a story at this point it's absolutely horrific you know i remember the days where carrie fisher actually cared for the fandom i really do this is signed by carrie fisher uh it, it, we got this before she passed away she she knew how to inject things into the story she knew how to tell the stories and when it came to sensitivity readers she was the one person in the background that was telling lucas and the directors to do things differently to show the true faucet of women and what we're seeing in star wars outlaws looks absolutely atrocious you know stellar blade is going to absolutely destroy this game just for the looks alone Anyway, I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.